initially the challenges face where we really need this cadaster is the inspectorate and geology section. We were speaking two different languages. We weren't actually on the same page. Even in my office, I have a hard map updated every two, three months. So if you want information from me, I had to go and turn and look at the map. I call somebody and say, help me to update that map. However, with the cadaster, this will be digital. What exists now is that somebody comes in with an application, a paper file is created, and then that physical file goes to the commissioner's office, then it goes over to the inspectorate office to do a site visit, for example, and then it would go for processing as we prepare for a quarry license. Mining leases would follow a similar process. We want to get rid of all of those bundles of paper, that paper files that we have, to a digital take it into a digital perspective. The support provided by the European Union was funding to pay the, the consultant that actually developed the cadaster, as well as funding for the server. So we would have needed additional support in terms of the technology to support the cadaster when it came on stream. The mining cadaster provides a map that the, the, anybody can look at to see where things exist in relation to each other in terms of mineral holdings. So if you're thinking about quarries, mines, prospecting licenses, even protected areas where they exist in relation to each other. So through the cadaster, somebody can click on a location to know what exists there. What the cadaster will do when it fully comes on stream is that we will collect the same information but create us um, electronic data. Right away, we would know if you're overlapping with another instrument that exists, whether a mining lease or a quarry license, as well as if it falls within any of the protected areas. And we know where the protected areas are, we would automatically know if there's any overlap. They will interface through a link. When they open it, they will see a map of Jamaica with all of the mines and the quarries that exist. With a click on each location, they'll be able to know the name of the operation, type of material that exists there, and some basic information. That Once they're interested in an area, then they can reach out to us to get additional information on the minerals that exist there. One of the big wins would be that we're able to view everything in real time. When new applications come in, it's very easy for us to determine where they fall and any challenges that might exist. We can also help them to adjust the application to say, maybe you should leave out the land that is here because it falls within a protected area, for example. Instead of getting that information four months down the road, there's still work to be done. We know that in terms of the matter of being able to fully apply online, that would be great. So that's something that we'd want, that e-commerce component of it. We want to be able to give each and every one access to information, whether locally or overseas. Access where they would normally get it from paper. They can actually get it online, and then where they are in difficulty, then they can contact us.